penicillin. Now let's talk about something slightly different, orders of kinetics. In the system I have drawn above, the higher the concentration in the plasma, the faster the drug will be excreted. This makes sense because the more drug in the plasma, the more in the filtrate, and thus the more drug in the urine. This will give us a curve that looks like this. So the speed at which the drug is being eliminated slows down as the plasma concentration drops. Note however that the half-life is a constant. When a drug behaves like this, we call this first order kinetics. Now let's change the situation a little. As we saw in the previous tutorial, drugs often have to be metabolised by an enzyme prior to excretion. The system would then look like this. A drug gets metabolised by an enzyme, and then the metabolite gets excreted. Normally, the drug still conforms to first order kinetics. However, in some situations, there is a limited amount of enzyme and too much of the drug. The enzyme saturates, meaning that it is all used up and is working at 100% of capacity. This means that if more drug is added to the body, it won't change the rate of excretion because there is no extra enzyme to process the extra drug. This effectively creates a bottleneck in the process and the rate of excretion is now independent of the concentration of drug in the plasma. Hence we end up with a linear graph like this. Note that in this case the half-life is not a constant value anymore. It is dependent on the current concentration of the drug. When a drug behaves like this, we call it zero-order kinetics. Drugs with zero-order kinetics are more easily overdosed because the rate of excretion doesn't increase.